Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Victoria 3 as good old Portugal. So Portugal's gonna be starting off in a bad position. I'm gonna just, I'm just like tell you that right now. We're not rich by any means necessary. Uh, what we do have is that we do have a handful of colonies down here. We got, you know, Mozambique, we got Angola, all that's looking pretty good. Uh, of course, colonizing anything is going to take forever. 8,334 days. That's quite a bit. We're going to keep these active because I'm going to let you in on the little secret. Is that I did actually start recording this uh, video before. Uh, this is actually my second attempt on it because I canceled all those colonies. And they just like lost all of our colonial empire. So we're, we're not going to be doing that. It's bad. So as Portugal, first things first, let's open up our outlier here. Make sure everything is pinned up properly. Open up the markets, colony states, incorporated or unincorporated territory. Sure, why not? We'll get those up there as well. Commanders, interest groups. So, right now, we're in a party between the landowners and the petite bourgeoisie. They are the ones that are currently in... Actually, no. They're, they're the ones that are powerful. They're not the ones that are actually in government. What if I kick the, out the intelligentsia and bring in the petite bourgeoisie? They hate that. Okay, we're not going to be doing that. But... One thing that's important to know about Portugal is its taxation. We've got a little bit of income tax coming in. We've got a little bit of poll taxes, consumption tax, tariffs, minting, all that good stuff. However, our taxation policy is ass. We are currently on land-based taxation, which is, I think, almost the worst taxation policy you can have. I guess consumption is, yeah, consumption is worse. But not by much. Not by much. We want to get, to get up to per capita taxation at some point. However, it's not a part of our laws. Do we not have a... Do we not have it researched? This law is supported by three interest groups. Who actually supports this? The Bidouz RC, the Armed Forces, the Rural Folks, and the Industrialists. Nobody in government actually supports per, uh, per capita taxation. We'll probably have to fix that at some point, unfortunately. Because the landowners, they love land-based taxation. Because they are basically pay us no money and will be in perpetual bankruptcy forever, which is very, very cool. Uh, one nice thing about Portugal, though, is that we do have two treaty ports. We've got a treaty port down here in um, in India. We basically have a treaty port with the entirety of the British uh, market. And we've also got Macau down here in China. So we got basically access to the Chinese market as well. We also have uh, the Sunda Islands all the way over here in Indonesia, but these are... Not very important. Let me just... We're probably not going to worry about our colonies down in Indonesia too, too much this campaign. So let us, you know, get started here. So we have seven construction goods. What do I actually want to build right away? Well, again, again, because we don't make a lot of money, we got to build something that actually has value. A few thousand pounds here. Almost a thousand pounds with you. We want to like coffee. Coffee usually works pretty well, right? Like a thousand pounds. Let's build up our coffee plantations in... Let's go North Angola. Let, let's put five of them up there for now. I think that seems like it'll be an okay place for us to start. And how's our market doing, by the way? Trade routes. We can export some dyes. Let's export you to get a thousand pounds off of this. We get a 95. So let's trade it with the Austrians. Let's trade you with the Qing. Even though it's only like 400 pounds. 400 pounds is still amongst the, the best that we actually have. We can trade you with Prussia. Yeah. 1,000 tariffs there. Oh, so we're not researching anything. That's completely my bad. Let's get the lathe done. We don't have a lot of technology. Our technology in Portugal sucks, to, to put it mildly. Okay, we probably also want to do one more on consumption tax. Services will give us 3,000 pounds. So we're still losing money. We're losing money in government wages, construction goods, investment pool transfer not very good. Because right now, our investment pool, it, it's coming from our current law of interventionalism, which is 5% from the aristocrats, 25% from the capitalist. Which is... Good on paper, because it looks like how many things we can use our investment pool for. We can use it for mines, uh, fisheries, manufacturing industries, all this cool stuff. However, 
as I learned, uh, if we go over to our population, we go look at our population down here, we don't have any capitalists. There are no capitalists in Portugal, so there's literally nobody to put into that investment pool, which is not great. So unfortunately, we need to kind of empower the aristocrats as much as we can in order to make our economy not shit. So we're going to go to agrarianism, which means we can subsidize way less things. The investment pool can only really be used for rural buildings, which is, I mean, it, it sucks because we're not going to be industrialized very fast. But what other choice do I have? But this will give us a nice boost to the landowners, which are now going to be giving us a 20% aristocratic investment pool. So we're now getting 2,004 pounds from the investment pool in order for us to build up our coffee plantation, which is nice because we desperately need the money. We have, we have like 400,000 pounds in, uh, in our bank account, which is not very good. When we're losing 7,000 pounds a week, it's not going to last. Like we're already down to, you know, 361. So construction goods, government wages. We could cut government wages. It'll make the intelligence and the people see a little bit less happy with us. Prestige will go down as well. However, does our prestige really matter right now? I would say no. I would say that it doesn't really matter. And the Intelligentsia and the Petit Bouzo D, neither of them like us too much right now anyway. So if they're mad at us, who cares? We'll do this just to save a little bit of money. The rural folk are happy with this as well. They're going to give us some more throughput. They'll trade tech cost reduction as well as 10% more authority. Got a lot of influence. So we probably want to either build an alliance or open up some uh, trade agreements, something like that. Would anybody custom union? Spain. They absolutely, yeah, I mean, our GDP is shit, so they're definitely not going to be too happy with this. Come in protect trade alliance with the British. They might say yes if we do an obligation. Well, they're directly pretty close. Spain would say absolutely not. Defensive pact with Spain? We've already got a defensive pact with the British. Okay. Well, I mean, that's nice. We could join the British Custom Union. They would actually just straight up accept. Do I want to join the British and join their sphere? I think the answer, honestly, might be yes. Trade agreement. Would anybody agree to this? No. No. I mean, they're kind of close, but they're not not—they're not quite there yet. And if we look at our... Does this show us how big markets are? First, let's trade you with Russia. Like, how big is the British market? Members. They got a lot of members. A lot of the richest countries in the world are in this. I think Britain is the richest country on Earth, right? Oh, no. This actually the market list. Yeah, so actually the British market by far is a, it, oh, it's the second largest behind the Qing, but that's because China is a very large country. So you know what? Britain, I will join your custom union right away. We get some more uh, relationship bonuses here, breaks trade agreements. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join your custom union. We'll see if this will make us more money or it might make us bankrupt. One of the two will happen. We're now at negative 8,000 pounds. But we are now in the British market. And I, I think this is going to be good for us. I'm going to clear more interest. This the, the things are not showing up here. I'm not too sure why. We already interested in Iberia. Yeah, let's run interest in France and Senegal. Sure, why not? That sounds okay. 730 pounds off of Terra. So should we even be trading with Britain then if we're in their market? Or should I not be trading with anybody else because I'm in their market? Okay, we have a lot of goods to export. How much money do we make off of this? 675 pounds? Again, we kind of have to. Sugar is... We can trade with this with Austria for 1,000 pounds. Get that done, please. Dyes are usually worth a pretty piece, uh, pretty penny. 2,000 with you. That'll cost us basically all of our convoys. So yeah, actually, let's trade. Let's go productivity here. Let's trade with France. Okay, because we're, we're really just trying to increase our tariff revenue as much as we possibly can. 900 pounds. Okay, Tuscany, sure. You can have some liquor. 
We can trade wine with Sweden. Rain, we can trade you. Rain in the British market's pretty cheap. Pay with Brazil. Fertilizer, we can trade this with France. We can make maybe a little bit of money off this as well. I mean, tariffs... We don't have a lot. We don't make a lot of tariffs right now. Okay, agrarianism will... I'm, I'm sure it'll pass soon. We got a 40% chance of success. Okay, so we go to budget. Tariffs, 923 pounds. 207 from opium. Total of 9.02 thousand. Investment pool transfer currently is at 588. This afternoon, uh, the leader of the rural folk delivered a fiery speech advocating for the dynamics of agrarianism. Get more popular. Rural folk get a little bit more popular. Sure, we'll uh, boost the chances to pass. Even though I, I think agrarianism is kind of... It's kind of... It, it's not good. You know. Balance negative 293. GDP 3.16 million. Hey, we got a we got a bonus though. We got a little uh, textile mill. We can go up to the dye workshop. It'll make us about a thousand pounds glass. Go up to leaded. Sounds good to me. There's so many things we don't have in in Portugal. Vineyards, you know, citrus orchids would make us some money. Anything else down here we can upgrade? Fishing trawlers will make us some more cash. Subsistence pastures, subsistence orchards. I don't think I've ever even seen those buildings before. I don't think we saw them at all in our Italy nor our Germany game. Stock exchange, trade route, bureaucracy cost minus 25%. We are spending 140 on those right now. Banking would be 10% more minting, which would be like 300 more pounds. I mean, you know what? We'll, we'll just uh, research this. We got flotillas in reserve. We'll hire one admiral for you. Of the landowners. Hopefully it doesn't cost us too, too much money. I mean, we don't have a large army. Portugal doesn't start off in the best situation. We need more iron. We need more tools. We're, we're selling it. Got a lot of buy orders in the construction. Import. Because we should have... Like, I think we buy it automatically from the British market. Hanover would... It doesn't even drive the cost down that much. I'm assuming because we're in such a large market. Because we're in such a large market, it's probably hard to swing the price of goods here. You can trade you with Chile. Because right now, 33% more than the base cost. I mean, Britain is the number one producer of this. Livestock ranches, trade routes to Russia. Oh no, this is for the entirety of the British market. This is not just for our country. This is for everyone in Britain. Okay. Well, I, we never actually played as a country that's within another um, market. Paddle steamers, 10% more convoy, sure, why not? Discord with the Intelligentsia. Well, the Intelligentsia don't like us. 10% enactment chance. Yeah, let's just... Let's, let's make the Intelligentsia a little bit less popular, I think... Seems good. What do we have to export? Coffee? We can export you to the United States. I mean, we have the convoys for it, so you know what? Send them over there now. American market. Let's trade more with the United States. Liquor. We can send it to Benin. Sure. Why not? I I'm sure Benin can have a good time with that. We got technology spread right now on intensive agriculture and banking. 9 to 16 months. Let's get you going now. Our coffee plantation is almost done. Which is good. What do I want to build after this? Also, I think I do have a thing in here for uh, opening the auto build system. 
Prohibit university, prohibit, enable auto build. Yes, enable this. I'm assuming this will automatically do something that's good. I mean, it's, it's the, uh, yeah, it's the auto build bonus here. Do we need more government administration? I mean, yes, we actually do. We are, we are at the negative thirty percent tax base. Okay, that's, that's pretty bad. Maybe that's why we're making not that much money. Devout scoundrel. And who are you? You're moderate leader of the Catholic Church. Sure, everyone will know how much of a monster he is. Also, we have 87% chance of enacting this. The next one will be on the 19th of February. We'll be there quite, quite soon, indeed. Is there anything I want to build? Furniture, steel mills. Well, what's expensive in the... In the uh, Tools. Do I have a tool workshop? I don't. So it probably makes sense for us to... It's going to cost us 146,000 pounds to build this. Construction goods can be funded by the investment pool. That is until agrarianism passes, at which point it will not be covered anymore. We're going to be a very uh, agrarian nation, is the way that I see this going. Minus 15%. Why are you dipping down? You're not very productive. Well, we know that we have a throughput bonus down here. Well, at least I think we... Yeah, we, we have a Portugal's breadbasket, 5% agricultural throughput. It's not a ton. But at the same time, it's not zero. Livestock ranches... And lay farm or wheat farms. You know what? Yeah, let's let's throw like let's put like a level three on you after our government administration is done. We now have agrarianism, can subsidize agriculture, ranches, plantation, infrastructure, and trade centers. We get more money from the aristocrats, which right now still only at A44. The industrials and the, and the trade unions hated it, but both of those factions are actually marginalized. They don't matter. So screw up. We're also half a million pounds in debt, which is which is which is pretty pretty bad. Uh, buildings. How long until you're done? Thirty six weeks. The investment pool transfer right now is at eight hundred and fifty pounds per day. I think. I think this goes. Actually, no. It's probably still weekly. The government wages are still expensive. Interest is costing us two thousand pounds. Hey, Brian, would you just, like, give me money? I'm going to say probably the answer to that question is no, they would not. Which is very sad for me. Import, export. It's because their taxes suck. Land-based land -based tax? Never once, man. Don't do it. Don't, don't fall for their tricks. Decrees. Incorporate states. Let's not even worry about incorporating any of those people down in the south. Is there any... I mean... It's kind of hard to do. Like, maybe like a paper factory? But now paper is a little bit expensive. But it would also cost us so much cash, which I don't have. Well, I think that at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. But look, Portugal's not in a great place right now. We'll, we'll get it there. I hope. But if you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not to really thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.